Captain Salty successfully steered across the stormy seas and arrived safely in the harbour, delivering his treasure to the king. I expect the king was very pleased with him, pleased to see his crew safe and sound, and his treasure too. But how did Captain Salty manage to steer through the sandbanks and the rugged rocks and get safely to the harbour? Well, he did it by fixing his eyes on the light at the harbour entrance. There he is. Here's the harbour light. He steered straight forward. You know, our lights can be a bit like a voyage on the sea. Sometimes it's all plain sailing, the sun shines, the sea is smooth, but sometimes the waves get bigger and bigger, the sky gets darker, and we can be very afraid, just like Charlie. That's because in the darkness, we can't see where we're going. We're afraid we're going to bump into something and hurt ourselves. Maybe we don't know what's going to happen next in our lives, and it makes us worried and scared. That's when we need to fix our eyes on the lighthouse. Jesus, who called himself the light of the world, is like a lighthouse. He throws light on our path and shows us the right way to go. He promises to protect us and to keep us safe. We need to fix our eyes on him. But you might be saying to yourself, well, I can't see Jesus. I can't see any light. I don't even know where to look. Well, do you remember how Captain Salty learned how to recognise the lighthouse at the harbour? He had a navigation book which told him what to look for. Well, we've got a navigation book too. I've got a copy of one here. It's called the Bible. When we read the Bible, we can find out about Jesus and what he's like. We learn that he's the son of God who left heaven to live on earth as a human being. He did lots of amazing things and he told us about how much God loves us. When we believe and trust in Jesus and do the things that Jesus shows us, then we are fixing our eyes on the light of the world and he will guide us to the safe harbour of heaven. When we follow the true light of Jesus, we can trust him to lead us through the troubled seas and round the rugged rocks. We need never fear because he's always there leading the way. There's a special verse which Anne is going to help us to learn off by heart. It goes like this. God is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? I hope that in the times to come, you'll remember this verse and say it to yourself when you feel alone or worried or frightened. With Jesus leading your way in life, you have nothing to fear. So over to Anne.